okay, tiny house tour. Here's my door. Over here, these are gonna be three little benches that will be on casters and they will attach to make a bench and then they will detach to come out when I have guests. Um, this is going to roll out this way and then a table will fold out of it. Um, it's kind of hard to explain unless you've seen those tables before. So be a couch that will either go into a bed, but probably we'll just have storage underneath. Um, I saw one tiny house that had the water bladder in there. So I don't know about that. So then the table, I, I uh, am house sitting and I grabbed the kids placemats to make sure that six would fit. Um, Cause one of the things that I wanna be able to do in my house is entertain six for dinner. Then you turn this way. Oh, and all of these little guys are just like where I want windows. Um, this is a storage cabinet and it is the size it is because my printer is that size and I have the smallest printer that I can have for what I need it to do. Um, and I work from home, so I had to build around that. This is going to be my um, desk space, and it's this size because I've been paying attention to how much space I use on my current big desk. And then I'm going to have um, here be shelves that open to the desk so that I can put my laptop and keyboard in there um, and keep books in there and whatever else that I am using regularly. And then, so I'll put that all away, and this will be where I will eat when it's just me. Um, this will also be probably storage above um, and then a washer dryer combo unit underneath. Um, I'll just keep walking. My fridge is probably going to be smaller than this. I think I'm going to do an apartment size fridge, counter, stove. <laughs> um, and I think I might do like an RV size one. I'm still thinking about that. If I could work with that because I cook so much counter space. Um, and then you'll, we'll have a pull out slider door from that little spot into the bathroom, full tub, sink, toilet. I'm going to start with a simple composting toilet, but I have a dream one that I really want. Um, so we'll see. My sink, my dishwasher. I might be the only tiny house with a dishwasher, but I rarely use my sink and I really cook a lot and make a lot of dishes. So um, it might be a, a little one, like an RV size one also, we'll see about that. So then um, go back this way and those are my stairs and there will be windows along there. And I think one of my little heaters will be along the stairs. Um, and I'm still figuring out where the other one will go. So now I will show you my lofts. I just remembered some things I want to mention before my loft. So one of the cool things with tiny houses is that you pay attention to your movements and routines um, day to day and you design around you. And so um, with my kitchen, I have it purposefully set so that I can open my fridge here and turn around and put it right on. This will be my big from my sink to uh, the end of the dishwasher, my main prep area. So it'll just be easy to set it on there. I've noticed that when I don't have that in places that I've lived, it drives me crazy. Um, another thing is I like to cook with my dishwasher open so I can just easily be throwing things in there. And so that's why the dishwasher is at the end um, so that I can be prepping and popping stuff in there. Although it's still a little funky because that's in my main prep area. So I might bump my sink over here. Still working on that. Um, there's one other thing about this too. Oh, a bigger space on this side of the stove because I tend, I'm right handed. So I tend to keep more stuff over there. Um, I thought I had that dishwasher situation worked out. I think what I ended up doing is making my sink bigger, but I think I'm going to have just the itty bitty sink because I really, really don't use it that much aside from like washing my hands and maybe a pot or pan. But don't tell anyone I put my pots and pans in the dishwasher. Okay, so we'll walk up these stairs. These will be normal stairs, not a ladder. 
um, with I maybe some sort of railings that's open and airy feeling. Um, and actually, I'm gonna flip flip this around um, and have this is gonna be like a shed style roof. So one side will be taller, and I want the head of the bed to be the taller side. So that's gonna be on the other side. Um, this will just be flipped around. So um, I'm not gonna really put a lot up here. My clothes are gonna be downstairs underneath the stairs um, and some awesome pull out things. So you'll just come up here and you'll have little side tables and my bed and just extra space there for something, I don't know. Um, and then the reason I had to flip around my other one is because I need, this one will have a little ladder thing and I needed it to be on this side. Um, so head of bed will be over there with my taller shed roof. Um, and for those of you who don't know about tiny houses, these lofts, you will not be able to stand up in them, but they will be like crouchable. They're not going to be super tiny, but um, there it is. So all this space will be open um, aside from those cabinets, I think. But I think above my desk, I don't want cabinets or anything. I just want open space. Um, there's your tour.